Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. I am Dr. Bhavaka and today's video is really very special to me because it is based on my profession and my passion that is dentistry. Today I will be discussing about the practical guidelines which are a must for dental practice post COVID-19. As we all are adopting to the new normal, it is a must to take these precautions and start our practice. Even if you have started the practice or you are planning to restart it, this video will be really very helpful to you. It is based on the protocols which are suggested by Indian Dental Association that is IDA. Every patient who visits the clinic should be considered as an asymptomatic patient for the safety purpose. Just before restarting the practice, the pre-opening protocol has to be kept in mind. The clinic has to be cleaned properly. You have to remove all the clutter from the waiting room as well as from the treatment rooms. Start the compressor. Drain out the water from the tank and the filter. Check out the movements for the chair by running all the programs. Start the x-ray machine. And definitely take one exposure. Check the batteries as well. Wash all the instruments properly with soap and water and autoclaving them. Think about the new charges and make a list for it. Try to install UV light tubes in the treatment rooms in order to reduce the viral load. Install a good exhaust in the treatment rooms also. Use at least a week to prepare the clinic before starting. Call your staff few days before opening. Train them about hand hygiene, wearing and removing the PPE kit. Do a trial run. It's a must. Review all your waste disposal system. Further, I would like to mention the list of surface disinfectants and the various hand sanitizers. Patients should follow these things before visiting the clinic. When the patient calls you, ask the medical history of cold, fever, cough, breathlessness, muscle pain, chills, headaches, sore throat and the loss of taste and smell. Travel history has to be asked whether he is staying in the confinement zone or has any contact history with a COVID positive patient and he should be informed that he has to wear a mask and then come to the clinic. Instruct the patient not to bring any kind of bags along with him and try to come alone. Please put such posters in the clinic to spread awareness. Protocol for making the room ready when patient enters the clinic. All the areas which can be touched by the patient should be disinfected or covered with a plastic. Example, the chair armrest, light handles, dental unit touch areas, light cure machines, etc. The doctor and assistant should be wearing the PPE. The room is well ventilated and has high efficiency particulate air filters on. Disposable apron for the patient should be ready. Mouthwash with 1.5% hydrogen peroxide or 0.2% povidine iodine should be used. Both high and low vacuum suctions are ready. Rubber dam kit is readily available. Autoclaved instruments and hand pieces are ready, preferably the micro motor. So now further I will be discussing with you. What all protocols have to be kept in mind when the patient arrives to the clinic, the dental consent form which has to be filled and the emergency consent form also. So please watch the video till the end. Donning of personal protective equipment has to be done in the following mentioned way. When the patient arrives to the clinic, Tell the patient and the companion to wash the hands before coming inside and use disinfectant on the hand. Evaluate the patient for any cold, cough, breathlessness or fever. You can use contactless thermometer for this. Fill up the history sheet and the consent form mentioned ahead. Patient should remove the shoes or wear the shoe covers. The COVID screening form should be filled by the patient. This is COVID-19 Dental Emergency Treatment Consent Form. For endodontics, you require rubber dam, micromotor and autoclaved handpiece, autoclaved bars, apex locator covered with a cling film and the disinfected tip, the endomotor and also covered with a cling film and autoclaved handpiece. Also, to relieve pain, do a partial pulpectomy. 
If you plan to do a full pulpectomy, then do single sitting RCT. In a trauma case, follow the normal normal protocol. Post endocrines to be avoided, a build up can be done. Now, when it's about prosthodontics, avoid crown and bridge and inlay preparations. Wash the impression immediately with 3% sodium hypochlorite before pouring a cast. After the cast is poured, wash the cast with 3% sodium hypochlorite and pack in a plastic pouch before sending it to the lab. When the prosthesis arrives from the lab, wash the cast with the same before storing or delivering it to the patient. Keep the treatment time less, not more than half an hour. Now we are done with the patient's treatment. It is a must to follow the post-treatment protocols to keep ourselves safe and the next patient safe as well. Clean all the used instruments with soap and water. Put them into an ultrasonic cleaner now. Keep them in an antiseptic solution, 3% sodium hypochlorite for 10 minutes or corsolix. Then wash them again before packing them for autoclaving. Remove all the disposable covers from various parts. Use 0.01% hypo or Clorox to clean the water lines. Clean the spittoon and surrounding 3 feet area with 3% sodium hypochlorite. Spray your PPE with NaOCl or Viroloxy. If you have worn a gown over the PPE, remove it and put it in sodium hypochlorite. Remove the shield and clean it with 70% alcohol or sodium hypochlorite and keep it aside. Now sanitize yourself. Wash hands thoroughly and use hand disinfectant. Run the exhaust fan and put on the UV tube lights. Fumigation if planned can be done at the end of the session. Remove personal protective equipment safely. Starting by the gloves, followed by goggles or the face shield, then the gown and after that mask or respirator. Now wash hands or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer immediately after removing all the PPE. Donning and doffing of the gown can be done in the following way. So please make sure that you have these things with you. The non-consumable list and the consumable list all is a must. Avoid prescriptions. Avoid cash transactions. Strict waste disposal protocol will be followed. Training and education for assistance. Social distancing at the reception and less number of appointments. In the end, I would say prevention is better than cure. So let's practice safe dentistry and follow these guidelines to keep ourselves and our patients safe. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. If you like it, please share, comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon below.